everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my March favorites. And I've got quite a long list of things and quite a few beauty products. So what I actually did was when I was doing my makeup, I filmed some cutaways of me putting on some of the products so that when I talk about them, you can kind of see what they look like when I apply them. So let's get the beauty stuff out of the way and then I've got non-beauty stuff to talk about as well. This foundation has been a revelation for me. I absolutely love it. It took me a while to find my shade because there are lots, which is amazing, but I finally found the right shade. So this is the new NARS foundation. It's called the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I used to be such a fangirl of NARS Sheer Glow until one day I was getting my makeup done and I told the makeup artist I was wearing NARS Sheer Glow and she was like, that is far too heavy and matte for your skin. And I was like, matte? How could it be matte? It's called Sheer Glow. And she was like, it's just named really badly. So after she said that, I kind of realized that it was way more matte than I thought it was. And I prefer a kind of medium coverage but glowy foundation and that's exactly what this is it isn't too light it's not like a kind of glossier skin tint type thing where it doesn't really cover your skin it gives you that nice coverage but doesn't look heavy on the skin and it's got a really lovely glow to it so that's what i'm wearing today i am the shade vienna i thought i was duville because that's what i used to be in sheer glow but they didn't have so many shades back in the day and now they've got vienna which i think is like in between duville and maybe fiji or something so this is the perfect shade for me duville was a little bit too light and this is just perfect sorry by the way that i just look so kind of overexposed i'm sitting right in front of the windows we have no shutters yet so my entire road can see me filming so i'm going to look a little bit more pale than normal but I much prefer like natural light. So anyway, this foundation is great. I've been wearing it every day. I used up my little sample. They very kindly sent me the full size and I just definitely think it's worth trying. When I did my Space and K event, I recommended this to so many people. I've also been absolutely loving the new Bare Minerals concealer. This is called Bare Pro. It's a stick concealer and it's like a really creamy formula. It's very similar to the By Terry Click Stick that I absolutely love. I'd say maybe it's a little gives a little bit more coverage. It's more fuller coverage, but again, not cakey at all. You can just swipe it where you need it. I use a beauty blender to just kind of like bop it into the skin. And then if I need a bit more, I'll use a brush. I love how small the packaging is. And I just think it's a really, really great concealer. Again, I think it comes in quite a few shades, but I'll link all the products that I'm talking about in the description box as always. Next up for makeup is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Palette. So this is the mini version. Actually, I've got my drawer here. This is the Naked Heat Palette, the original, which is huge, obviously very inconvenient for traveling. I absolutely love this palette. My favorite shades are probably these two, Sourced and Low Blow. Um, and then I love these kind of middle ones as well. So for me, the, the mini isn't perfect. I personally, well, first of all, I can never open it up. Oh, there you go. I accidentally dug my nail into one of the colors. I don't really use the two lighter shades and I wouldn't use this darkest one. I love these three in the middle. So I would have added in maybe like one shimmery one and maybe another light warm one, but not that light. It's not perfect, but I love it. And this shade here, which is Hot Spell, I wear every day. I've literally worn it every day since I got this palette. I also love um, Wild Thing. I'm wearing both of those today. I love a warm eyeshadow. I just feel like I don't need palettes this big anymore, but this is perfect. I really like it. I don't think I've talked about this product yet, but this is the new um, brow shaping gel from Hourglass. They brought out new brow gels and I'm never that like blown away by a brow gel. I love the one from Blink Brow Bar. My criteria is that it just doesn't leave white bits in my brows. I always go for a clear brow gel. So I guess I don't have to be as fussy as people who have less hairs on their brows and actually want something that gives them like thickness. But for me, I really like this one um, because the brush is really interesting. On one side, it's really small and flat, and on the other side, it's really long bristles. So I feel like on certain parts of the brows, you need like a little brush, and then on other parts, you really need to brush through the hairs. So I think that's really clever. I've never seen anything like that before. I love the little packaging. Again, it comes in four shades, I think, but I just use the clear one, and I think that's a really great brow gel. So if you haven't found one that you like yet, I'd say give this a go. I find that some, like the boy brow and the benefit one, the brushes are too tiny for me. Like if you have big eyebrows, you need an actual like spoolie brush. So this is great. If you saw my skincare video, which I will link above, I'm not even gonna point because I point in the wrong place every time, but I will link it above if you haven't watched it yet. I'm loving all of the products I mentioned in that video, but I just thought I would highlight two of them. I won't go on for too long because I've already spoken about them, but the Skin Suticles HA Intensifier. This is brilliant. It's such a gorgeous serum. It really helps boost the hyaluronic acid into your skin, and I've been loving it. I'm halfway through. 
dreading the day that I finish this but it's so good and the other product that I wanted to talk about is the Clinique CX soothing moisturizer I got lots of questions asking if I'm still using the Dr. Jart ceramidin and I am I still love that they're a little bit different the Dr. Jart one's a little bit thicker and I find that this one is a little bit cooling and soothing on the skin so when my skin's feeling a little bit sore or not itself this is so nice it's just a really, really lovely moisturiser. So I'm really glad that Caroline recommended that to me. Oh, before anyone asks, I know you will, you're gonna say, what am I wearing on my lips? I am risking having sore lips because I just really wanted to wear lipstick. It looks so much better, doesn't it? Anyway, this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Um, and the lipstick on top is the Laura Mercier Spice Rose, which I bought years ago because Tanya Burr wore this on her wedding day. And it really is the perfect lipstick colour. I love it so much. Thank you, Tanya, for that recommendation years ago. I should probably buy a new lipstick. Okay, that's all the beauty stuff. So let's go on to other things that I've been loving this month. First of all, my made.com poof. My mum ordered this for my 30th birthday back in November, and I think it came around February time, and it was so worth the wait. It's gorgeous it's like a pale dusty pink velvet poof and it's difficult to find the perfect poof i'm really struggling to say poof over and over again it just sounds wrong but it is the perfect height the perfect firmness so we use it both as an extra seat if we're having people around and there's more people than we have space for someone can sit on it but me and rich use it almost every night to just rest our legs on i find that when i'm sitting on the sofa putting my legs up just is so much more comfortable on my back and we have like a glass coffee table so we can't really put our feet up on there so we share it we put our feet up we watch tv and i love it i just think it looks great as well it adds a bit of color into our lounge and yeah i'll link it below because i really really like it the next thing i've been loving is hello fresh we've been doing it for three weeks now i think during like the book period when we just didn't have time to do any food shopping or anything we were eating so unhealthily and hello fresh actually went to my parents house and my dad signed up and my mum my was like what are you doing my mum is such a good cook um, they really don't need to sign up but they did it for like one week and my mum was like, even though it's not for me, I think you would really like it. I think it's perfect. I, I reckon it's aimed at people just like me and Rich. We are young professionals. We are very busy. We like to eat well and we can cook, but we just don't really have time to think about it or plan it. So every Sunday we get delivered a box and we've chosen to do three or four meals a week. I can't remember. And we pick our meals every week and it all arrives in a box and we put it straight into the fridge and everything's already in like separate bags for that meal and you've got all the right spices, all the right quantities and all the food is really like good food. It's all like organic and great. So some of the recipes that we've got, got them all here because that's the best thing, you can keep them so you can make them again and it has like a picture of what it is and then it has step-by-step -step instructions on the back. So we've had like chicken tagine, green curry, chipotle spice chicken, pork and apple burgers, they were so good. Veggie shepherd's pie, I am loving it. We are loving it, it just works so well for us. Like now I'm out of the book thing, I'm like, we're still doing it. I think we're paying like 25 pounds a week or Rich worked out and it was like six pounds a meal or something. So it's not crazy expensive compared to like what we were already spending on food shopping and takeaways. We were having so many takeaways. So yeah, it's really working well for us and I'm enjoying kind of learning how to make new recipes as well. It's kind of taking me out of my comfort zone and encouraging me to cook things I wouldn't normally cook. And then I, by actually doing it, I can tell like, why does this shepherd's pie taste so much better than when I make it? And I can see the ingredients that have gone into it. And yeah, it's just making me learn more about cooking. Sorry, I just need some tea. A style favorite that I've been loving is this shirt from And Other Stories. It's a really gorgeous silk shirt. It fits really nicely. It's not like oversized in the wrong places. It's not too tight. It's black silk with white polka dots and I love it. Just tucked into high-waisted jeans. This is one of those things that I know I will just wear for years. Really happy I got that. Ooh, another style favorite. These trainers. Ooh, it's not nice to hold trainers up to your face. Let me just hold one. They are pink suede adidas actually they're not suede they're like corduroy now i'm looking at them closer i mean they're a nightmare yesterday i wore them and it rained and i was like this is not gonna go down well i did manage to like wipe off some of the mud they're just gonna get dirty but i love the shade of pink it adds some really nice color to my outfit i love wearing light colors like if i'm wearing like a yellow t-shirt or pink trainers i love wearing it with like a light denim i just think it looks really cool i don't love the contrast of wearing like black with pink trainers but if i'm wearing like a light 
outfit with my camel coat i think it, they look really cool and they're really comfortable i will link them down below i am just loving trainers as always okay my final favorite is a tv show and i have a tv show every month to recommend to you guys it's making me realize how much tv we watch but we just do me and rich watch tv every night pretty much without fail unless we're out it's our way of relaxing and we just really enjoy getting into like new series and just seeing what's on tv i'm one of those old-fashioned people that literally just flicks through the normal tv channels and watches what's on i'm loving one born every minute that is back and i have another recommendation but i'm going to save it for next month this month i want to recommend season three of love obviously start from season one if you haven't it's on netflix we loved season one and then season two if i'm honest we did kind of like stop watching it for a bit and like just we weren't that into it and then season three came out and we were like oh my god we never even finished season two so we went back and watched it and season three is so good it's like a really kind of quirky indie feel series it's very funny it's a comedy if you like films like knocked up and things like that you'd like it because i think judd apatow is a the director and so it's a very similar feel to like um knocked up what other comedies has he done like this is 40 a few films like that i'm so sad that it's over i hope there's another season we are just like going through things so quickly so if you guys have any other recommendations please do let me know so i think that's everything those are all of my favorites for march i'm gonna try do some more vlogs you guys loved my vlog on wednesday thank you i really enjoyed editing that one it took me like four hours which is ridiculous because i have so many other things to be doing but i really like spending time on editing because i think that's where you can add your personality to videos and where you can constantly evolve and change and i just think it's an important part of being a youtuber so i enjoyed doing that vlog and thank you so much because you guys obviously enjoyed it as well which is amazing okay i'm gonna go get on with my day i need to go buy some gray paint samples i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye